Lesson 99, Fraction, Decimal, Percent, Equivalence. Fractions, decimals, and percents are three ways to express parts of a whole. An important skill is being able to change from one form to another. This lesson asks you to complete each table and looking at the equivalent fractions, decimals, and percent. So look at this table in the first example. We have one half. We need to change it to a decimal and a percent. One half is one that we commonly work with, so we know that it's already 50 percent. But we need to also know how to change them because we will come upon trickier ones. So when we look at one half, we automatically turn it into a division problem. And we add a decimal point after the one so that we can get a decimal answer. And remember, you can add as many zeros here as you want, and it will not change the value. So 2 goes into 1 zero times, but 2 goes into 10 five times. We know then that our decimal answer is 0 0.5. When we have 0 0.5, in order to change it into a percent, we multiply it by 100%. And we turn this back into a fraction, and that's 5 tenths. So we do 5 tenths times 100 percent. And you can, again, remember, you can cancel. There are 10 tens in 100, so we get 10, and there's 1 10 in, one, in 10. So we get 5 times 10 is 50 percent. One times one is one. Our answer is 50 percent. In the next part of this example, we see 0 0.3. We know that that equals 3 tenths. Remember, we're going to multiply that by 100 percent in order to get our percent. We can, again, cancel, making taking a 10 out of each one. 3 times 10 is 30 percent, 1 times 1 is 1. Our answer is 30 percent. Turning it into a fraction, we already had it as 3 tenths as a fraction. Now we just have to check to make sure we don't need to reduce it. 3 tenths is the lowest form, so we can put 3 tenths in here as our fraction. For the E and F, we see 40 percent is what we're given. So we turn 40 percent into a fraction first, and we know 40 percent is always out of 100, so we can always put 100 underneath to make it 40 over 100. Then we cancel and we get rid of, we take a 10 out of 40 in order to reduce it. We take a 10 out of 40 and a 10 out of 100, and we get 4 tenths. But we're not done. We see that they're both even numbers still. So we take a 2 out of each one, and we get 2 fifths. The fraction for 40 percent is 2 fifths. The decimal, remember, sometimes it's easy to look at, and sometimes it's not. But 5 into 2, and remember we want it as a decimal, so we can pin the decimal point on and add as many zeros as we need. Don't forget to put that decimal point up. 5 goes into 2 zero times, but 5 goes into 24 times. And our decimal for 40 percent is 0 0.4. These are the long ways to figure these out. I know that you probably will figure out the short ways. Let's look at a few more examples. 3 fifths. It's a little bit of a tricky one. Again, we do 5 into 3 pinning the decimal on, adding a zero to figure out the decimal form. Five goes into three, zero times. Five goes into thirty, six times. Zero point six is your answer. Zero point six can also be written as six over ten because it's six tenths, timesing it by one hundred percent to figure out your um, percent. Remember, you can cancel. 6 times 10 is 60, making it 60 percent. 
I'm going to let you work on the rest of the problems for your practice.